The third station is the Annafkhu Vassur, blowing the horn or blasting the trumpet. You know, Israfil is holding the horn, waiting for Allah to give him the permission to blow. He's just waiting. And he is looking at the Arsh and his eye doesn't blink. Waiting. So Israfil alayhi salam will blow into the the trumpet two times. The first time that will cause all creatures to fall unconscious. Everyone. ونفخ في الصور فصعق من في السماوات ومن في الأرض إلا من شاء الله ثم نفخ فيه أخرى فإذا هم قيام ينظرون so there are two blows the trumpet will just be sounded when all that are in the heavens and the earth will soon Except such as it will please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So there are ex there is an exemption here. Like Musa, the Prophet said, When I recover and get up, I see Musa holding the pillar of the Arsh. I don't know whether he recovered and got up before me. Or he was exempted. Allah did not cause him to, to go through that state. So the first blow and then the second one. The second will bring the resurrection where people will be resurrected. They will come out of their graves. Because what will happen, my dear brothers and sisters, on that day, we are in the graves, decomposed totally, except the coccyx, the end of the vertebrae, the spinal cord, that bone remains. Then we will be reconstructed in the graves. So the grave behaves like the womb. Like what? The womb. So we, be, we will be reassembled in the grave and clothe the bones with flesh and everything. And the Prophet ﷺ said, and the sky will rain water like the water of men, like the seminal fluid. Now the bodies are complete in the graves. What is missing? The souls. Now the souls will fly and unite with the bodies. Are you following? The souls will return to the bodies and the graves will open. <clears throat> and the first one who will come out from the grave is Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.